Hey everybody, it's Will. Today we are going to be cloning Parocious ostridis. This is the common gray oyster mushroom. Um, we just went to our local store, our local grocery store, and picked up a box of oyster mushrooms. This was three dollars. Um, you could just grab some if you're going to be eating some for dinner. And you, anybody can do this. You can teach your little kids how to do this. It's really fun. All you need is the bag that the oyster mushrooms came in, some cardboard. Uh, we boiled some water and soaked this thoroughly, so, um, and a knife, and some rubber bands or twisty ties. If you do forage and you find a species of oyster mushrooms growing locally, and you can uh, get 100% identification on it, it would be preferable to clone the local species of mushroom. Just has your local kind of things going on. Um, and if you do have any further questions afterwards, go pick up this book. Super awesome if you're interested in mushrooms. This is the Organic Mushroom uh, Farming and Microremediation book by Trad Cotter. Really awesome for beginners. And if you already know what you're doing. So. We have our species, our sample of Parocious ostridis. Use clean hands. We have Blue Lotus Botanicals Herbal Antiseptic Spray. You're going to want to use clean hands and make sure that you pour hot boiling water on your cardboard and then let it cool down to make sure that you kill off anything that's on there. Oyster mushrooms are very aggressive. Um, I don't know what this is made out of, but there seems to be a little bit of mycelial growth on this blue thing. I think it's plastic. Uh, I'm not sure. So, um, alright, what we're doing we have our cardboard here. We separated the pieces, the corrugated pieces, all that. So we just have individual strips. And just take a strip, lay it out, and take a piece of your mushroom. And you can just cut off the cap so you can eat the cap. Take off the stem, and what you're going to want is the inside pieces and the very bottom piece that was attached to the base. You can just like put a little slit and it'll start to just peel off like string cheese. And you can put the individual string pieces in there. Just like string cheese. You want the inside pieces and the bottom pieces. Just gonna wanna roll it up tight like a burrito. Alright, so we got a couple, we're just going to tie with our twist tie or twist up with your rubber band and put it back in the bag that it came in, just reuse, good way to recycle these bags. Stick it in there, poke some holes in the bag for air exchange because they do breathe oxygen and exhale CO2 just like us. So once you have a colony of these, once they colonize this, you're gonna just leave it in a just leave it in a dark um, drawer or cupboard for a week, and it'll colonize on there. You can go check on it; it'll be all have white strands going through it. Um, you just unroll it, add another piece of cardboard on top, roll it back up, then you get your biomass going. And once you get a lot of biomass, you can start get preparing to fruit and then continue your biomass. Um, but when you start to fruit, you can get more of these oyster mushrooms. And you, it's a good way to recycle paper waste. Um, you can grow them on um, pizza containers, uh, any pieces of cardboard paper, um, coffee grounds. Um, they grow on a lot of awesome things. And then you got protein. And then you can reuse. Then once you 
uh, waste the mycelial uh, biomass body, you have uh, some pretty nice soil. So um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment. And uh, I do highly recommend going to get Trad Cotter's book, Organic Mushroom Farming and Microremediation.